Hey folks, Nick Donatelli here, and welcome back to the Houdini for MoGraph series. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, so this one should be fun. We'll be setting up a method where you can continuously emit items into an RBD sim so that they'll interact with each other and the world around them. But before we get into that, just a quick shameless self-promotion. I recently opened up a shop on my personal site selling art prints. These were all made using Houdini, so check them out and grab one if you want to support these tutorials. Thanks. So let's just hop straight into it. We'll start with the tube, change the type to polygon, and check on end caps. And then copy the height and paste relative reference it into the center Y and divide that by two so that it stays on the origin. And I'm going to make the height 2.5 and now make a poly extrude and select this top face in the group. And now bring the distance down and inset it a bit as a point for where we will be emitting items. And now there's a more detailed Canon model in the project files below. If you want to grab that, um, just it's the one that was in the render, but it'd be easy to recreate on your own or just use this simple cylinder for the sake of the learning concept. And now I'm going to make a null and name it base in all caps. Next, I'm going to drop a blast node and select the front group and check on delete non-selected and then make a scatter node. This will determine how many pieces we emit. So I'm going to make it just one and then in the global seed type $F so that the point is continuously moving and changing places each frame. Next, we'll do a copy to point, attaching the second input here, and we're going to make some geo to add on. So I'm going to do three pieces of geo for this. I'm going to do a platonic solid with a radius of 0.5, and then I'll drag that over, and I'm just going to change the type to octahedron. And then I'm going to make a torus with a uniform scale of 0.3, just so that it's similar in size to the other two. And next, I'm going to assign all of these a different color just so we can view this a little easier. So I'm just going to do red, drag it over, make do this one green, and one more time to make this one blue. And then I'm going to drop a pack node after each of these separately. And then merge all three together and we'll hook that up to the copy to points and now if you if you hit play you can just see that all three are just copied onto the point as it moves which is not what we want we actually just want to have one of them randomly per frame do this we're going to use this pete's attribute checkbox in the copy to points node and you can see that it turns on this variable. So on the points, we want to set up this variant attribute, have it either be 0, 1, or 2, so that it selects between the three pieces of geo we have. So to do this, I'm going to make a point vop and dive inside. And then I'm going to drop a random node, attach it to the frame, so that every frame we get a new random number. And I'm going to fit that to be between 0 and 3. And now do a floor, which will bring it down to its lowest closest integer and then convert it using a float to int. So it actually becomes a integer value and then bind export that and type in variant. And now if you come back out and you hit play, you can see that every frame, it's randomly one of the three pieces of geometry. So now for the actual sim, I'm going to drop a dop net after the copy to points and dive inside. And we're going to start this off um, just like we would any other basic rigid body simulation. So do a RBD packed object, a rigid body solver, and a gravity node, and hook them up like this. And now if we just used this RBD packed object to source the geo, it would only create it on frame one. So instead, we're going to drop a pop source node attached to the second input of the solver. 
Here, we're going to change the emission type to all geo and the source to first context geo. Hit play, and you see we have our geo coming in, but it is just falling as it is born. So first, I'm going to make a ground plane and merge that in to the solver afterwards, uh, and then making sure that the ground is coming in from the left side of the merge. Now, we want to give the points some initial velocity. So hop outside the sim and do an attribute randomize, typing in V. And we're going to set a range of minus 1 to 1 in both the X and the Z to get somewhere in between there. And then in the Y, I'm going to set it from 6 to 16 so that it's randomly just popping out or being thrown out uh, way more intensely. Um, so now we want it to be different on every frame. So go into the options and type $F times 2 in the seed. And now hit play, and there you have it. We can just see that objects are just continuously being emitted in random on each frame, and they're just getting thrown around and colliding and interacting properly with each other. And that's our endless RBD cannon. Now I have some extra details like randomized, normal, spin, and scale in the project files, which you can download on the site from the link below. Um, but if you, if you want to dive further into it, as always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if there are any effects you'd like to see tutorials for in the future or any other general animation tutorials, concepts, ideas that you want to hear about. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time. <laughs>